Hi, my name is Sahaj Grover. I'm a Grandmaster. I'm from India and my major is Computer Science. Hi, my name is Sahaj Grover and this tournament is UT Dallas. I was, I was black against uh, Jeffrey Cheong. Let's begin. Initially, I was expecting Jeffrey to go with uh, E4 because that's what he usually plays. I mean, it was kind of a surprise for me from the first move. But, I mean, that, that happens a lot. So, anyway, so I think uh, Nimzo was uh, probably the first time in his life that he's played. I mean, I didn't see any games before coming here. So I was kind of uh, surprised by Nimzo. And this was, he, he played bishop g5, and that was kind of uh, surprising for, uh, usually white continues with uh, queen c2, or f3, or knight f3. But bishop g5 is something that is uh, rarely played. But I, I prepared this line uh, about three years ago with white pieces, and I understood the, the problem with it. Usually black plays h6 in this line and after bishop h4 you can either go with g5 or c5, it's up to you. But I found a problem with the, the setup to play directly c5. The point is white will play d5, I mean this happens in the game. It takes, takes and d6. And well it, it is still theory and um, I feel that e, after e3, knight d7, bishop d3, queen f5, knight d2. Yeah, so the point of not playing h6 um, in the beginning was that after knight takes d5, castle, I have takes, takes. Now white cannot take with the knight, of course, because now I can play c4. That was the point of not playing h6 that. And, uh, I, I, and this line is particularly forced, I mean, because if white is playing bishop g5 so early, you don't expect him to play the knight f3 or, or, or the fianchetto because that just doesn't make any sense. So I think that this is kind of forced and, well, so he took with the pawn. I played c4. Now again, you cannot play... Um, I mean, you you, get, you have to either play bishop c4, but then just takes, takes, and queen g5, or maybe just queen c3 also, yeah? Oh, sorry. I mean, knight b6, yeah. Knight b6 is much easier. Yeah. So, after c4, he went bishop c2. And now I've uh, played short castle. I was thinking of uh, taking, but I just didn't see the point because... Uh, after taking, uh, you can just take queen d6 and I'm just wasting a move. And if I just castle here, and I didn't see a useful move for white because he has to play either bishop h4 or queen d2. And I can just uh, take, take, take. And now you have to waste a move because queen d2 and queen d6. So that's why I castle here before. I, I thought that I'm, uh, this is already kind of very comfortable for me as black. So bishop h4, knight c3, knight c3, oh sorry, bishop h7, yeah. This was a very interesting idea. Queen c2, king g8, knight c3. What is your evaluation to this position? Unclear. Yeah, kind of, but like, uh, I kind of like, I mean, during the game, I thought this is just completely better for me already because I didn't see anything that, like, I mean, just the queen side is just growing. Well, the queen side pawns look like yeah. they'll be much more favorable in the end game. That's what I was hoping for, yeah. So e4, and now I, I kind of went for this. I, I, I wanted to go for this trick that I, that I saw before playing knight e5. And I played rook e8. That was the point of it. Rook b1. And now, if you don't know it, if you know it, don't say it. But, but yeah, so I played knight f3 check. But the point of uh, rook e8 here 
was uh, that I cannot play knight f3 straight away because takes queen h5, bishop g3, um, queen f3, and now you can play knight e2, bishop h3, and or maybe just knight d1 also. Maybe this is better, yeah? Bishop h3 and just knight e3. I didn't see anything concrete. And if the rook is on e8, then I can take on e4 right now. This is why I, I, I wanted to play rook e8 first. Question. Yes. After the game, did Jeffrey see this move? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. His father actually came to me and told wow. me okay. this I remember at the time when Alejandro Ramirez was doing commentary, live video, very impressed by it. Quite surprising. It was, it, it was an interesting idea, yeah, at the same time. I agree. So rook e8, rook b1. So now knight f3 check. And I think this is completely forced. This is not... Now, white had two ways to defend. One is uh, via knight, sorry, knight e2, and uh, bishop h3, knight f4. But here, after uh, bishop f4, and rook f1, rook e4, I just assume that this is just completely better for me because the queen side pawns are just... I mean, there's nothing to stop them. So, um, and the other way is what Jeffrey played was knight d5. Now, during the game, I had missed knight d5 because I just thought that this position is better regardless. So I just, uh, I just kind of missed this. Now, I was thinking if I should take bishop f1 here or not. Here and now rook e4. But then after, uh, after some thought, I thought I didn't have... I, I didn't get the position that I desired here because it still feels like this position can be holdable. So I took rook e4 because I didn't want, I, I thought maybe it's better to uh, have the majority on the queen side and then just try for d5, d4 eventually. So he played rook e1. He cannot obviously play queen d1 because of rook e3. So, and if he just takes rook b7, I was just going to play d5. And I think d4 is just not, you can, it's not just stoppable. So he played rook f e1. I played, oh, I'm sorry, d5. And now I just didn't see any, any way he can, he played queen e2, but I just couldn't see what else could, was possible. If, again, if rook, rook d1 is, queen d1 is again, is not possible. And d4 is just really, it's just annoying. So queen e2. Takes, takes, now d4. Maybe I should have uh, played mm, something like b6 here. But I thought this is just, this is just too much. So I just, I just wanted to get the piece back. So now he took uh, rook b7. I could have taken d e3 here and just play this position. But again, uh, white has a lot of drawing chances here. That's what I thought. So I played c3. The point was now uh, white's, uh, white's pieces are paralyzed. The rook cannot move to c2 because then I will take d e3. Like for example, if you want to just get rid of the pin, I can just take... I mean, that's what he played, but... Uh, this, this means yeah, e2. But somehow I didn't go for this. Yeah. Okay, so um, here I played f6 for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> Probably because uh, the, um, the knight cannot go anywhere, if I'm not right, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. If you play here knight g2, what's this happening? Probably rook c8 just. Now we'll just try to play d3 in the next move. The knight cannot move here because of the mate. And if you play rook b8. Oh, this is interesting. Wait, why can't you just go d3 immediately? 
uh, takes in rook b1. Then d2. Rook b1. Yeah, that's also lost. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Maybe that's that's what I thought, yeah. Correct. So f6. So he played bishop b8. I completely missed this move um, during the game. So I played a5. I think this was just uh, stretching it too far. Maybe I should have just taken d e3. But I wasn't sure like how to evaluate this position. Maybe take. But then again, I, I, I thought after bishop b8, a5, the knight is still paralyzed. So um, I shouldn't like, um, I shouldn't hurry in taking the knight. Rook b6. The, he played rook b6 to avoid rook a6. I wanted to get out and play rook c6 at the same time. So this was kind of an interesting move. So now I played king h7. Again, white's pieces cannot move. So I just move. Because if you move a rook b7 again, I will play rook a6 and get out. This is kind of interesting because mo like most of the pieces cannot move. The, ol the only move I saw here was a4. But you can run out of those moves. So I played rook b5. And now, uh, two, uh, the threat for rook h5. Now I played g5. Now rook b1. Now somehow, I think I should have played rook a6 here. And now just try for rook c6 next move. But I didn't, uh, I, didn't I was, uh, I had about, 15 minutes in my clock, and my opponent was had had about two three minutes, so I was playing kind of fast, and I didn't, I didn't really think that much. Uh, I think I should have played rook a6, and it's just very, very good for me. So I just played king g6, and he came back rook b6, and I and now I cannot go back and play make any uh, waiting moves because you can give a check and go back rook a6. Rook b6, I'm sorry. So I took. Because I didn't see any... Uh, Not a4. Yeah, a4. Uh, a4, just a3. Rook a5? Oh. Bishop d6, maybe? Rook d5. Bishop b4? No, okay, it's just... Rook d5. I Maybe mean, not a3, but there's rook b4, so you can take on b4. What? Maybe rook b4 now. So you can take on b3. That's a dangerous place to go, Carl. Oh, yeah, rook c3. <laughs> I mean, there's no threat, but just in case you can take on b3. Maybe d3. No, maybe even, even a3. d3? Sure. Black is d3. Rook, rook, rook takes e4, four. rook takes b8. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure if it's working. Rook c1. D3, rook c3, rook c1, just there. C2? Yeah, c2, now not c4. Now if rook b1, then I mean. No, why not show some technique? Play a3 when you can. Where? <laughs> the rook here. here. No, it here, a3 for now. Rook but I can take rook c3. Rook c1. That's right. Okay, oh, I'm gonna okay. take and take on b8. Yeah, even that. Okay, if a3 now, maybe I move the bishop, yeah? Okay, then maybe rook a8. Torture yourself. Okay, play rook c1 and hold that. Rook c1. I mean, next move is knight c2 or something. And then, still gonna come. Uh, why knight c2? We can just wait, right? Because Maybe a 5 now. Okay, but because rook cannot five. move, so. Maybe a 5 now? Yeah, five five is not a 5 f5. Maybe check? Okay, now knight d5, and it might get tricky. F, wait. No. Rook g4? What's the trick? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> rook g4, bishop g3. Okay, yeah. 
So rupee eight first. Rupee eight first. Rupee eight first. Ah, you you give a check. Negative six. Oh. King six. King four or something. King h four. No. Yeah. That's no. King g six. I mean, at times I was thinking of taking rook b8 immediately and then d3, but I mean, that, that was always an option. I don't know. So I played here uh, king g6, rook b6, and now I just took d3. Maybe it was uh, premature, but I just didn't see how I could improve here. So I took, he took, now rook before. Uh, I mean, I th I thought this is just completely, completely winning for me because uh, he, I thought if 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 he takes a b4, and now if bishop d6, I think I have rook a2. Yeah, now b3. Yeah. This is just winning. So uh, rook b4, he plays bishop c7, rook c8. Again, I wanted to achieve that position, but now, now, like it's not the same. But I was still happy to play this position with Black because I just thought the king is um, king is just going to. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hmm. It's not too bad, yeah. So he plays rook c six. Uh, when I took d three, I didn't see rook c six. I was. As I said, I was playing uh, just just too fast here. So, anyway, but I think this is also not too bad. So yeah, uh, King H one, Bishop F one, and now if you take here, then you had Bishop A six, yeah. And if Rook B three, then now Bishop C four. Yeah. And if you play h3, I'm sorry, now check, what was the move here? Yeah, I forgot. Maybe rook h8 first. And then still king h2. Bishop f1. Bishop f1, but e4. Well, something was here, I remember. I wonder why he didn't take. Oh yeah, after the game I asked him why he didn't take. Because bishop a6, yeah exactly, he said h3 rook h8. Or rook h, yeah, rook h8. This position. And he just didn't want to play this. But I think this has more chances of making, I mean, to to equalize the game compared to well, what do you play? Rook f2. And now just bishop d3. I, th I think he missed this move. The point was, if you take from here, then just king g7. And if you take from here, now king h5. And if h3, then just rook c4. And now you can't stop the pawn. So if bishop a5, and it's just now I didn't want to uh, no no wait uh, this position I thought he had some chances to make a draw here but it's just by force I'm I'm changing both the rooks rook f8 check check no no just take and he resigned here Yeah, it was a it was a good game, but I think from the from the opening itself, uh, Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey was uh, worse, and I think from there it was just kind of better for me.